how to play soccer. Soccer is also known as football. Soccer is a team sport which is played between two teams of 11 players with a spherical ball. A minimum of seven players are needed to constitute a match. The primary rule of soccer is that players cannot touch the ball with their hands or arms while the ball is in play. But goalkeepers can touch the ball if they're in their goal box. The game time is split up into two halves of 45 minutes. The object of the game is to score more goals than your opponent in 90 minutes. Soccer is a game played between two teams, and each team has players who work together to score goals. There are usually 11 players on each team, and they all have important roles to play. Goal and Scoring The main goal of soccer is to score points by kicking the ball into the other team's goal. The team with the most goals at the end of the game wins. The Field Picture a big rectangle, like a giant playground. This is the soccer field. There are goals at each end of the field, and the teams try to kick the ball into the other team's goal. Goalkeeper. One player on each team is the goalkeeper. They are like the goalie in hockey or the keeper of the goal. The goalkeeper can use their hands to stop the ball but only when they are inside their special area called the penalty box. Kickoff. The game starts with a kickoff at the center of the field. One team kicks the ball to the other to begin the game. Running and passing. Players run on the field, trying to kick the ball to their teammates and away from the other team. Passing the ball to teammates helps the team work together to move closer to the opponent's goal. No hands, except for goalkeepers, players are not allowed to touch the ball with their hands or arms. Except the goalkeeper. If a player touches the ball with their hands, except the goalkeeper in the penalty box, the other team gets a free kick. Throw-ins, goal kicks, and corner kicks. When the ball goes out of bounds along the sidelines, players do a throw-in. If the attacking team kicks the ball out over the goal line, the defending team gets a goal kick. If the defending team kicks the ball out over its own goal line, the attacking team gets a corner kick. It's important to emphasize fair play and good sportsmanship. Encourage children to have fun. Play as a team, and be respectful to opponents and referees. Football, also known as soccer in some countries, is a globally popular team sport played on a rectangular field with a goal at each end. The primary objective is to score by getting a ball into the opposing team's goal, using any part of the body except arms and hands. Only the goalkeeper, within their designated area, may use hands. Each team consists of 11 players, including the goalkeeper. The game starts with a kickoff and is divided into two 45-minute halves. Players maneuver the ball by dribbling, passing to teammates and attempting to score goals. Defensively, players aim to intercept passes, tackle opponents, or block shots to prevent scoring. Football requires strategic teamwork, physical fitness, and skilled ball control. FIFA governs it internationally, with variations like futsal and beach soccer having slightly different rules. The universal appeal of football lies in its simple concept, accessibility, and the excitement it generates among players and spectators. Standard rules include offside laws which prevent players from gaining an unfair advantage by being too close to the opponent's goal, and fouls, penalizing unsafe or unfair play. Fouls can result in free or penalty kicks, depending on where they occur. However, as we will see in the rest of the video, these rules have evolved with time, aiming to make football better. As football has gained immense popularity over the years, it has also undergone significant changes in its rules and regulations. These changes have greatly influenced the style and gameplay of football, making it more physically demanding and technical compared to previous eras, Janetsky et al., 2021. Therefore, 
Studying rule changes is crucial in understanding the evolution of football and its impact on the game. It allows us to gain a deeper understanding of the current state of football and how it has shaped the sport's development. Furthermore, analyzing rule changes provides insights into societal and cultural changes, as football often reflects society's values and norms. For instance, the introduction of video assistant referees, VAR, reflects the increasing use of technology in our daily lives. Lastly, Studying rule changes allows for a better appreciation and admiration of the sport as we gain insight into its complexities and intricacies through the evolution of its rules. For example, the seemingly simple offside rule has significant implications on game flow and strategic positioning, highlighting the strategic nature of football. Football has a rich history that spans thousands of years. Chip Greeks played a game called Epaskyros, which the Romans would steal, much like they did everything, and call Harvester. When they invade Britain, the Romans bring their game with them. In its earliest form, football was mob-like and much more violent. Players also used an inflated pig's bladder, and in at least one recorded case, a human head. In 1308, Irish records tell of a spectator at a football game being charged with accidentally stabbing a player. Things got so bad that in 1363, King Edward III bans football and cockfighting from the entire country. The pig and the chickens rejoice, but the people keep playing in secret. 1613, King James officially unbans football, urging everyone to play Sunday after church. In the 1800s, English schools are establishing official rules, but not every school agrees. Rugby school wants a more violent game, where you can kick up the ball. This evolves into a completely different game, which you can guess the name of. However, most children can't play football, spending six days a week working in factories and inspiring Charles Dickens novels. This changes with the Factory Act of 1850. Now children only have to work from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Big difference. The English start to grow their empire, bringing football and some persecution around the world. Football becomes so popular that in 1900 it is added to the Olympics. In 1904, France, the Fédération Internationale de Football Association, is founded. 1930, FIFA holds its first World Cup in Uruguay, bringing all the nations on its good side together in competition. The World Cup has been played every four years ever since. Islam and Rahman, 2021 argue that this popular sport originated from ancient civilizations such as the Chinese, Greeks, and Romans. These civilizations had games similar to football, showcasing the sport's long history. However, it was not until 1863 that the English Football Association established the first official set of football rules, Namda de Rul, 2019. These rules laid the foundation for football's development and evolution over time. With the expansion of colonial powers, football was spread to different regions and cultures. Hey, Mr. President, heads up. It's called soccer. Go USA. You guys are going to do it. Becoming a global sport, Buzz and Wild Angel, 2023. This expansion has also led to the success of teams from various countries in major tournaments such as the FIFA World Cup. For instance, African teams like Senegal and Nigeria have performed exceptionally well in recent years, highlighting how football has transcended borders and cultures, Umea and Yosembaum, 2023. Rule changes have greatly influenced the evolution of football. One notable change was the introduction of the back pass rule in 1992, Butler and Butler, 2019. This rule aimed to level the playing field between goalkeepers and outfield players. Advancements in goalkeeper training had made it easier for them to handle the ball giving them an unfair advantage. By restricting their ability to pick up back passes from teammates, this rule change aimed to reduce the dominance of goalkeepers. Another significant football rule change was modifying the offside rule to have a two-player system. According to Salabun et al., 2020, this change aimed to decrease injuries caused by attackers receiving long balls behind the defense. Previously, attackers could run past defenders and receive balls without consequences, often leading to dangerous collisions. By adjusting the offside rule, attackers had to time their runs carefully, reducing the risk of injuries. The introduction of the three points for a winning system in 1994-1995 by UEFA and several national federations was another notable change that greatly impacted football. Before this rule, teams received only two points for a win and one point for a draw. This system often resulted in what makes soccer loved all over the world is that it doesn't need any infrastructure, it doesn't need language abilities, anybody can play it. All you need is just a ball. And so everywhere in the world people play soccer, everywhere in the world they love soccer. In essence, soccer serves as a common language that allows people to connect, share experiences, and celebrate their common humanity. 
It provides a platform for fostering understanding and breaking down barriers, making it a powerful force for global unity.